I made a few Ninjella videos in the past and even streamed two of the open beta sessions last month, uh, but the release date is right around the corner, and it's about time I make a big comprehensive video to help people learn all about this game before it comes out. If you're somewhat interested in this game already, or maybe you're just someone hearing about this game for the very first time, uh, this video should help you in one way or another. I will try to provide as much information as possible and clarify a lot of details that some people might be confused about. I will try my best to be 100% accurate with all the information in this video, uh, but there are some things we just don't fully understand yet as the game isn't out. If I do happen to make a mistake, or if more information is revealed later on, I'll be sure to address it in the description below or pinned comment. And one more thing before I start, I will go through most if not all of the mechanics in this game and give a rough understanding of how to play, uh, but I will not be going in depth with most of it. Uh, this is not a guide on how to be good at Ninjala or anything, as I don't consider myself a competitive player or good at the game. I'm gonna keep things general for the most part, and I hope that's okay. So enough babbling, that intro turned out to be much longer than I hoped. This is everything you need to know about Ninjala, more or less. Ninjala is a free-to-play arena brawler developed by Gung Ho Online Entertainment, made exclusively for Nintendo Switch. There's both a 4v4 mode, and a 8-player battle royale free-for-all. And while Ninjala is going to be mainly online multiplayer focused, there will be a local multiplayer mode added in an update in the near future. If you couldn't tell, you play as ninjas in this game. Well, ninja kids that use bubblegum for their main source of power. And just like any other bubblegum blowing ninja, you can disguise yourself, run up walls and blow gum bubbles to soar through the air and dash around. It's a uh, pretty wacky concept for a game to say the least. But along with your gum powers and ninja techniques, you can use a number of different weapons to beat down your opponents. At launch, there will be three classes of weapons being the hammer, katana, and yo-yo. In total, there will be 12 different weapon types, which are just variations of those three weapon classes with new abilities and stats. Each weapon in this game has a different gum ability, or gum shoot as it's officially called, a special ability, and a ninjutsu ability, which is more commonly known as a ultimate, or alt in a lot of other online multiplayer games. The main goal in your typical match of Ninjala is to score the most amount of points before the timer runs out. There are a variety of different ways to score points, such as eliminating your opponent by dealing enough damage, performing a special Epon attack that will give you additional points, collecting light orbs, and finally destroying drones that are scattered around the map. In addition to points, there is also Shinobi Energy, or S Energy. S energy is gained from collecting light orbs that can be found around the map or earned by destroying drones, and this energy contributes to a shinobi power gauge in the bottom left of your screen. Once the shinobi power meter is charged up enough, you could then use it for a variety of different things, one of which is the ability to use your gum for a dash. If the S energy gauge is charged up enough, you could even upgrade your weapon into a bigger and stronger version. In order to do this, you need to increase your maximum S energy capacity. You do this by destroying drones, and if you couldn't tell, drones are extremely useful, as they not only give you a fair amount of points, but also a lot of light orbs, and again, most importantly, increases your S energy capacity, which allows you to make both your gum and weapons beefier. Another two mechanics are the gum guard and gum break. Gum guard is simply a shield you can use to block attacks. You use it by blowing a gum bubble and just holding it in place. Gum Break is when you attack that gum bubble enough until it breaks. By breaking somebody's gum shield, they are then stuck in their own gum and can't move for a period of time. If they have a low enough health bar, you can take advantage of the gum break and KO them very easily, granting you a special Epon KO in the process. Epons, or Epon KOs, are another important mechanic in Ninjala, and these are, like I said, KOs that give you more points than usual, but there is a bit more to it than just that. There are multiple ways to pull off an Epon KO, and I'm not going to go through all of them because, to be honest, I don't think I know all of them just yet, um, but I do know that if an opponent is stuck in gum, either by performing a gum shoot or gum break like I said, and you KO them, it will count as an Epon KO. Another way is by winning the parry minigame. Oh, and yeah, you can parry in this game. Once you and another player clash at the same exact time, you will almost always enter a parry scenario, and this scenario is essentially a rock-paper-scissors minigame. If you win the parry and manage to KO them, it will count as another Epon. 
At the end of each match, bonus points are given out from two different categories, and if you don't go out of your way to get these, you might just end up losing by a few points, and you may or may not be devastated like I was when I played during the open beta. Uh, these two bonuses include the Drone Destroyer bonus, which is 500 points, and the Epon Master bonus, which is 1000 points. It's pretty self-explanatory as to how you can earn these. You just have to have the most amount of drones destroyed and most amount of Epons in a match. And that about covers the main mechanics of Ninjala. There is a few more outside of battle, but I will get to those very soon. Earlier, I did say Ninjala is free to play, and most of you probably already know that by now. But not only is it free to play, but you won't even need Nintendo Switch Online, which I know many people will be happy about. Not requiring a Switch Online subscription is a big deal to many Switch owners. And that little tidbit was something I wasn't even aware of for the longest time, even though the Ninjala team mentioned it months ago. As for the release date, Ninjala launches on June 24th, 2020. Yes, if you had your eye on this game ever since the mini Nintendo Direct, uh, you might have noticed that Ninjala was delayed from its original release date being May 23rd. But considering everything, I'd say an extra month of development was a good choice. And after experiencing the horrible server issues on the very first open beta session, I'd say it was necessary. To be fair though, the second open beta session that was hosted recently was a lot better. Uh, there weren't that many issues compared to the first one, and it shows that the extra dev time was not wasted. Uh, when you first start the game up, you'll get to choose from a handful of different avatars. These characters play exactly the same mechanically. They don't do anything different from each other, and the same goes for the cosmetics, which are just purely cosmetic. Speaking of which, there will be seasonal content updates, with each season lasting roughly 8-10 to 10 weeks. In these updates, we'll see a number of weapons, stages, and even brand new gameplay mechanics introduced to keep the game fresh and alive for years to come. Included in every new season is the Ninjala Pass, or Ninja Pass, I'm not entirely sure which name they're going with, because they interchanged it, I believe. Doesn't matter, it's Ninjala, Ninja Pass, whatever. But this pass is essentially the same type of battle pass you would see in any other modern online game today, and uh, we'll have both a free and premium version that goes up to 100 tiers. I'm not at all upset about this edition. I personally don't really like battle passes, but they're kind of like a standard for modern online multiplayer games. And not to mention, they're very successful. For people that care about cosmetics, battle passes offer a lot of value to them, and I'm not against Gung Ho for incorporating one because mainly it's a way to actually support the developers. It's free to play after all, and if it's the safest route to take in order to make both players and developers satisfied, I don't see how it's a problem. And no, it doesn't seem like this Ninja Pass will be pay to win. It doesn't seem like it will have any effect on the gameplay itself, as it only contains cosmetics, sprays, taunts, and music tracks. There does seem to be another reward that some might consider a little controversial, but I'll get to that very shortly. By using Shinobi cards, you could power yourself up in a number of different ways. Shinobi cards give you one passive skill along with up to three bonus skills, and you can unlock these by using Ninja Medals. Ninja Medals are just one of Ninjala's in-game currencies. You earn both Shinobi cards and Ninja Medals by simply playing the game, but from what I've seen, it seems like you could also earn them from the Ninja Pass, the Premium Ninja Pass. It doesn't seem like a whole lot, mind you, but it, I can see why people might be annoyed by that. There is another in-game currency alongside Ninja Medals, and that is Jala. Jala is the Premium Currency, meaning it's gonna cost you some actual money. Jala is used to buy the Ninja Pass and Premium Cosmetics in the item shop. The Ninjala dev team did show some prices for some of the cosmetics, but they did state the prices are not final, and it is possible they could change, so I'm not going to bother showing them off as they might change, um, but we'll, we'll see what they are when the game comes out. But I'm sure it's not going to be cheap by any means for some of these cosmetics. That's how it usually goes. Oh, and there's something neat for uh, physical video game collectors such as myself. There's actually a physical version of Ninjala coming out on July 22nd for around uh, $40. And while yes, it is exclusive to Japan for the time being, you can import it on uh, PlayAsia or some other website for, again, roughly $40. And it even supports multiple languages, including English. The main selling point of this physical release is that it comes with some cosmetics and 2000 Jala for you to spend on the Ninja Pass or item shop. So if you're wondering how they would even sell a free-to-play game physically, well, that's how. <laughs> you're essentially paying for the premium currency and outfits. 
But I'm not entirely sure how the code redemption works for the Jala and for the cosmetics because I'm, I'm assuming you'd need a Japanese Nintendo Switch account to activate them, but maybe not. Uh, if you do need a Nintendo Switch account that's Japanese, it's not really hard to set one up. I'm sure if you bought this, you can figure it out somewhere. I'm probably not going to buy it, even though I really like physical games, but it's there. It exists if that's something you really want, I guess. On the official Ninjala YouTube channel, you could find a fully animated episode of what I assume is a Ninjala web series. Episode 0 has been out for quite some time now, and I still don't know if this is going to continue being a web series in the future, or if it's tied to the in-game story mode, which, yes, a story mode was confirmed recently, but I'll get to that very shortly as well. In the animated episode that was put out, it introduces you to some of the characters, uh, talks about what the Ninjala world is, why ninjas and bubblegum of all things are important, and some lore and backstory. I didn't really talk about that stuff at all in this video because I wanted to stick to things in-game, but if you want to find out more about the world of Ninjala and its characters, I would give this animation a look. I'll leave it in the description below if you haven't watched it already, but this has been out for quite some time now. Now lastly, I wanted to discuss the story mode in Ninjala because a trailer was shown off in the past week finally confirming that, yeah, some type of single player campaign is coming. Uh, but GameSpot put out an exclusive first look at this mode, and while it looked, you know, cool, it looked fun, uh, there's not really much to talk about here. In fact, I think the only thing we know is that the story mode will be paid to DLC released at a later date. Also, that the fact that you don't have to be connected to the internet to play it. It will be an offline, single-player adventure, so that's something else to look forward to, I guess. And that was just about everything. Uh, I don't think I missed anything too important. If there was something, it was probably something very small. But I spent a lot of time researching and going through the very small amount of official Ninjala content out there to make this video. If we're going to be technical here, this video has actually been months in the making. Because I started it back in April, but waited very patiently until more information came out about it. Regardless, I really hope this video was somewhat helpful. Ninjala is a game I'm super excited for, and unfortunately it doesn't get a lot of attention. I don't see a whole lot of Ninjala creators out there, but the closer we get to launch, the more hype I see. And I have a strong feeling that this game is going to blow up in the next few months. It has a lot of potential, and it's very accessible due to it being free to play and easy to pick up. I will be streaming Ninjala when it launches on June 24th, so if you want to watch me play the game live or even play some matches with me because I will try my best to play with viewers, feel free to follow me on Twitch as I will be streaming there. I may or may not be streaming on YouTube as well, depends on how things turn out. But if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, if it helped you at all, feel free to share it with your friends. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, hit that notification bell for more Ninjala and gaming content. You can join my Discord server to talk with my community, follow me on Twitter for news, updates, and sleep-deprived tweets at 2 in the morning, and if you want to go even further and feel like a cool person, feel free to support me on Patreon for as little as $1 a month so I can make the quality of my content a lot better and hopefully release videos at a faster rate. For that $1, you can get your name at the end of most of my videos, like Goofball124 over here, who has generously continued his support for almost two years now. What a guy. Uh, there are some other rewards too, such as some playlists for a lot of my unlisted live streams, uh, including Ninjala streams, and there may or may not be a super secret Discord chat with uh, dozens of quality pictures of my two pugs. But enough of the shameless self-plug, all I have left to say is thanks for watching. I'm gonna go play Persona 4 Golden for the second time because uh, that game just released on Steam and it's really good and you should play it. Okay, bye.